This is um, Mark Irwin, and he is a painter at Birch of Painters. Um, we've done quite a lot of art history together, haven't we, Mark? His art is an amazing expression of how he feels. It's his voice and it's his expression of his feelings and emotions. There is this tremendous energy there. Um, exuberance is the word that springs to mind. It comes back to this thing that when you present a new idea, you get his reaction, a truly honest reaction. There's no baggage there. There's no idea of, oh, I should give you this answer. He learns so much about the way of putting on paint and the tone, the line and the colour. And it also incorporates his passion for nature, for landscape and his, his faith. There's not anything I can think of that he would actually turn down if somebody was offering him an opportunity to do it. I think he's a whole person who has all the passion and feelings of people. Everything he says or does seems to me to be genuine. His emotions are on the surface and so you, you never feel that he's covering up or hiding anything from you. He, he does his botcher and he did go for Team GB Paralympics last year. His dream is actually to, over the next couple of years, to get so much better that he has actually put on the GB team. You know, what life is all about is dialogue. You know, it's quite interesting. When I first met Marco, I wasn't sure quite how we were going to communicate in, in, in the easy way we communicate now. I've just got this round here, six so to H. Um, so there's always a lot of laughter around Mark, I think that's fair to say. Very, very energetic, very enthusiastic about everything he does. Mark is a very vital person and he's very much alive and he's a great friend. This particular painting here is about uh, the Garden of Gethsemane. He calls it the Garden of Peace. Oh, yeah. And uh, but this is the Christ figure here with Mary Magdalene after um, when um, after uh, she has found that the tomb was empty and um, she her eyes were so full of tears she couldn't recognise Christ till till he spoke to her and she said Rabboni. <laughs> 